Hello, I'm Michael Jones, 2021 President of Columbus Realtors, here with the January 2021 Housing Report for Central Ohio. After a record year for home sales in 2020, Central Ohio housing activity continued its frenzy pace into 2021. There were 1,926 home sales in January, up 10.4% from last year. Although homes in contract were almost 5% lower than January 2020, those 2,600 homes sold should close in just the next 20 to 30 to 60 days, pushing sales higher as we move into the spring months. The number of homes added to the market, new listings, last month was up almost 20% from December 2020, although down 9.1% from last year. This number is in keeping with the number of new listings seen in January for the last few years. This inventory at just over 1,800 homes at the end of January, down 50% from one year ago. As a result, homes continue to sell quickly, an average of 25 days in January 2021. However, the time it takes to sell a home is based on several factors. The condition of the property, the location of the property, and of course, the price. Homes under $350,000 sold in an average of 20 days last month, while homes over $700,000 took an average of 79 days to sell. After the first month of 2021, Central Ohio was showing 0.6 month supply. This means that if no more inventory were added to the market, it would take just over a couple of weeks to sell all listed homes based on the current sales pace. It's common knowledge that we don't have enough homes for sale to meet the demand, but it's not because we have fewer homeowners listing their homes. The number of new listings has remained relatively unchanged for the last decade. However, the demand has increased by more than half. 10 years ago, we were selling just under half of the new inventory. In 2020, we sold 93%. More and more people want to live in central Ohio. Higher end home sales, which normally slow after a recession, showed great resilience in 2020. Homes over $350,000 saw significant gains in market share, while listings under $350,000, which made up almost 80% of the sales last year, were down 5%. I think it's safe to say that we had far more homes available in those higher price segments, which account for the rise in sales. However, the availability of homes affordable to most is simply in very short supply. While home sales locally showed a gain of almost 10.5%, sales for all of Ohio increased 8.8%. Nationwide, home sales were up almost 24%. This lack of inventory in the face of such strong demand continues to push prices up. As a result, home sales prices saw double-digit increases again in January. When we compare our local average home price of $263,455 last month, we see that the average sales price of homes across Ohio was $211,050. And nationally, the median sale price of all existing homes was $303,900 in January. Breaking down Ohio home prices further, we see that home prices in the northwest part of the state averaged at about $172,769. In the northeast part of the state, the average sales price was $191,332. In the Dayton area, homes sold for just over $193,000 last month. And homes in Cincinnati averaged $243,298 in January. Thank you for watching and we'll be back next month with more information on the Central Ohio housing market.